Dr. Robert L. Park is a professor of physics at the University of Maryland at College Park. He is the director of public information for the American Physical Society. He is the author of the book, Voodoo Science, The Road from Foolishness to Fraud, Oxford University Press, 2002. Dr. Park says, I began this list of warning signs to help federal judges detect scientific nonsense. I have identified seven indicators that a scientific claim lies well outside the bounds of rational scientific discourse. While it must be admitted, Dr. Park's book was not written to apply these indicators to the pseudoscience of evolution necessarily. We have taken these brilliant and common sense indicators of bad science and applied them to what you have learned in this film. The seven indicators are as follows. Number one, the discoverer pitches the claim directly to the media. An attempt to bypass peer review by taking a new result directly to the media and thence to the public suggests that the work is unlikely to stand up to close examination by other scientists. Over the long and checkered history of evolution, this has happened several times with naturalists, geologists, and paleontologists desiring to expose their work first and thus reap the financial rewards. In some of these instances, documented frauds and deceit have been uncovered. These are embarrassing facts to the evolutionist. Two books, The Bone Peddlers by William Fix and Bones of Contention by Marvin Lubnow, expose and demolish the various ape-man frauds, some of which fall squarely into this first category of voodoo science. Indicator number two. The discoverer says that a powerful establishment is trying to suppress his work. Of course the religious establishment, especially Christianity, is accused here by the evolution proponents, and religion, especially Christianity, is continuously and viciously assaulted and targeted by the evolutionist. Indicator number three. The scientific effect involved is always at the very limit of detection. Dr. Park says, alas, there is never a clear photograph of a flying saucer or the Loch Ness Monster. May we add here, neither is there a verified monkey man or transitional species fossils of any kind indicating that one kind of animal has ever turned into another kind of animal, nor is there any way to prove or disprove the abiogenesis that supposedly occurred billions of years ago, while in the real world of science, abiogenesis was categorically disproven hundreds of years ago. Indicator number four. Evidence for a discovery is anecdotal. In other words, we must be able to test, observe, catalog, and retest a theory rather than just talk and speculate about it in order to call it real science, as some of the so-called evolutionary evidence does. Indicator number five. The discoverer says a belief is credible because it has endured for centuries. Or, as the modern evolutionists continually argue, but so many scientists all over the world agree that evolution is true. Therefore, evolution must be so. Indicator number six. The discoverer has worked in isolation. Again, several of the now infamous evolution discoveries were found by just such means. Work and discoveries formulated in isolation and then popped upon the world and their so-called scientific colleagues. These are documented in several famous and credible works, two of which were mentioned in indicator number one. And indicator number seven. The discoverer must propose new laws of nature to explain an observation. If we must change existing laws of nature or propose new laws to account for an observation, it is almost certainly wrong, Dr. Park says. Like abiogenesis or chemosynthesis? Evolution says that life came from non-life. 
but never has this been observed and in fact this proposal was disproven hundreds of years ago. Further, evolution says that everything is in a state of an upward spiraling evolutionary process. When the indisputable scientific laws of thermodynamics confirm that everything is in a perpetual state of decay, evolution has to literally change the laws of nature in order to be deemed believable. Let us remind the viewers of this film that Dr. Park said that he developed this list of warning signs to help federal judges detect scientific nonsense. Dr. Parks calls it voodoo science. Every one of Dr. Park's indicators of voodoo science are met squarely by the pseudoscience of the evolutionary fairy tale.